What's up, YouTube? It's your girl, Curly So Victoria. I am back with another video. I'm just gonna come up with my little pouch. I just came literally from the store, like literally just came from the store. And I said, let me make this video for my beautiful people. It's Sunday, so you guys are probably expecting a video for you who are actually staying up on my video postings. I am normally trying to post on Tuesdays, Thursdays, um, Saturdays, Sundays, and I'm working toward potentially being able to make more videos. Now, you guys ignore my background. I feel like I always say this in my videos because I feel like I start making videos all the time when I'm supposed to be cleaning up. Now, I don't know about y'all, but I clean up every week and I know some people say that might be obsessive or excessive rather, but once a month I'm at least deep cleaning and each week I'm cleaning. So right now I have a whole bunch of stuff out that's because I'm deep cleaning. I'm going through files, I'm shredding documents, I'm going through things I don't need, I'm putting things up on my um, channel, on my other, if you guys follow me on Poshmark, then you guys know that I sell on there too, so if you're interested in what be in my closet, and you wanna purchase what's in my closet, only if it's for sale will you be able to purchase it. So I advise you to go follow me on Poshmark if you guys are interested. Um, and then, yeah, so like going through documents, going through clothes, going through so many different things. Oh, Jesus. Get my hands clean. Why would you do that? Like, why would I do that? Just, just dumb. It's Sunday. You're not supposed to be making dumb decisions on Sundays. Any other day, and maybe we'll think about it, but not Sunday. Sundays, you're supposed to be relaxed, and it just, don't be dumb. Whatever you do, don't be dumb, just be chilled. So anyway, I'm going to actually, I guess this video is more like a mukbang. Not on purpose, but Chipotle for the people. Wait, what is this? Say? Oh, black or pinto. Yes, okay, got it. So anyway, I'm gonna be eating my Chipotle. I'm semi 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 excited because I think the salad dressing was made right. Somebody asked me did I work at Chipotle before because I was like, ugh, that salad dressing is made to perfection. And one day I was like, whoever made the salad dressing, they did not make it right. And they were like, ma'am, you gotta try it. I was like, no, it's a recipe and it should be a certain color. A certain texture like this one it'll pass but it should be a little bit thicker I know I'm not I don't work at Chipotle but when you've got such an acquired taste for a place and you know what it should taste like then yeah before I go ahead and put my dress and I want to show you guys what I'm eating just in case you're that person who wants to like Chipotle but you don't know what to eat let me show you so on the bottom which you probably can't see the bottom my bowl is laced with just salad so the bottom is straight greens as we get to the next level and i'm going to tell you the levels going up the next level i have a little bit of brown rice literally i tell him a little little bit of brown rice then the next level is black beans then we go into vegetables so the vegetables are mixed and the one thing i don't like about the mixed vegetables is they put onions in them i don't care for those spicy red onions but it's a part of the vegetable mix so i get it anyway but this is one of the vegetables it's bell pepper and then the next layer up, I get plain tomatoes. Cause you guys know they have like their special seasoning on their um, tomato and corn. But when I do that as corn and tomato, I feel like it's just too excessive. So I get plain tomatoes and then I get the regular corn, which the corn has whatever concoction that Chipotle does. And then when I get to the top, I'm not a big fan of avocados and guacamole, but my sister always says, eat your avocados. You know that is what guacamole is consisted of so even though I don't like it I still get it because I know that these are healthy fats and they're good for you so I get them some people say oh you can't even taste it I feel like everybody's palates different so people can taste or feel textures and for me sometimes no all the time I could tell when there's avocado in my stuff I just try to mash it as good as I can and mix it I get about a spoonful of this from Chipotle, like a regular spoonful, not like an extra spoonful. 
and um, well, I would say two two spoonfuls because their spoons are pretty big. So I get about two spoonfuls, and then um, I get more salad or lettuce on top. So my whole bowl is a veggie bowl. There's no meat in here. There's nothing whatsoever. And it's very filling. It's very healthy. So if you guys don't know what to get and you're either vegan, vegetarian, pescatarian, you don't eat meat, whatever. Um, or even if you do eat meat, I'm pretty sure that this entire concoction with meat will be perfectly fire. So I like to normally, like if I'm in a restaurant, I'll scoop some into my top my chipotle top and i will eat half of it out of but when i'm at home or something a lot of times like i just kind of section off my bowl like right now i think eating half of this is just too much so i'll section it off to about a good one third now mind you i really really want to get that salad so there's a lot of salad in here so that's where i'm trying to make my divvy point up where I can get more lettuce and if I haven't said this if you're new to my channel thank you so much for tuning in and if you've already been subscribed thanks for coming back make sure each of you subs smash that subscribe button and I'm also going to take a little bit off the top on this side to put over here just simply because there's guac so I don't want to eat all my guac at one time when I eat the other side I need to be spacing out my guac and then I'm going to push this over like basically I just divvy up my bowl within bowls so I don't create additional dishes or get things everywhere so I'm gonna start here and more than likely that's gonna be it and I'll just pour my salad dressing right over the section I plan to eat and then I save my other salad dressing for when I get to the other side later chipotle has always been something that's hard for me to eat all in one setting unless I have Mm. Mm. Amen. Yes, I have to say grace because you don't know. You got to pray for the people who prepare your food. You got to pray for the contaminants that could be in your food. You just got to pray for restoration. We take such small things for granted. And I'm not going to preach to y'all, but... we really take things for granted like we take things for granted to the point where I'm gonna go get this Chipotle and this Chipotle is gonna be fire blah 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 there ain't gonna be no contaminants um there isn't gonna be any eagle eye and we just assume that somebody prepared something perfect for us but no anything could happen Or you try something new, like say you've never eaten red onions or you don't like red onions and you have an allergic reaction. Stop taking your life for granted. Bless your food or do whatever you do to, um, I don't want to say, to pray over, to do whatever you do. But anyway, so you guys have, um, my side, my salad is fire. It's like nothing's over seasoned, obviously, like the red onions make my nose a little stuffed. I already was dealing with nasally congestion, but... It just kind of gets to you. Other than the onions getting to me, the food is fire. I don't have anything bad to say about Chipotle. And when you are a faithful Chipotle person, and you have been since the chain opened, You tend to have a top uh, Chipotle or 
a list of follow-ups on who can I go to to get my Chipotle because they're going to do it right. Or if it's an emergency and you need Chipotle and you're like, I'm going to go here, but don't expect to be highly, you know, happy. If you are, great, but just expect slight disappointment. But if you're not in a rush and you got time to do what you got to do, then yes, there's certain Chipotle. Sometimes you got to travel a little bit longer to get what you want. Because what's easy isn't always right. Mm -mm -mm -mm. So, but yeah, I wanted to shoot this video for you guys and... Hmm. I guess talk to you, check in, give you an update. Oh, what's today? Mmm. Mmm. My hair. The time is just flying. So tomorrow is the 19th. Which will be Monday. And then the 20th is Tuesday. So can you guys believe that as of today, I am one month, two weeks, and four days into my second set of locks. On Tuesday, or Wednesday, the 21st, it'll be a month, three weeks. So proud. So we're going to keep this thing up by the end of the month. I'm going into the next month. We will be... I can't even believe it. We'll be two month lock. I don't want to really play in my hair as I'm eating, but you guys can kind of see this hair. I need to definitely do a retwist. I have not. I've only done one retwist in this entire one month two weeks four days so like I said before I'm in a wedding at the end of the month obviously oh man my water is in the refrigerator I'm sipping now my power rate trying to up my electrolytes and when I get Powerade from my Polar Pop from the gas station I fill it up with ice in my drinks that typically waters it down even though this Powerade isn't like it doesn't taste sugary or anything um, it still waters it down for me and then I like a lot of ice in my drinks anyway when I do have ice real crazy let me know if you're like this but I prefer room temperature water because my teeth are so sensitive to cold at times but when I have a drink with a straw give me a lot of ice it's like really weird, but I think it's because I have the straw that typically does it for me. Because the straw is not allowing the beverage to touch your teeth like it would if you sip out of a regular cup. Or a bottle. So, mm -mm -mm. am I the only one when your body like accepts the nutrients you feel the acceptance that's how I feel right now I've got healthy pets I've got greens I've got vegetables I've got a little of protein like I've got everything in this bowl that's why I love getting my Chipotle bowl because it's 
spend seven dollars to have everything I need in my body. I got everything in here. Only thing I don't have in, in here is like my antioxidant rich fruits and things like that, like pomegranate or just different fruits. But I get all of my healthy stuff. Like, see, I still got this left. I've already ate this little portion. And I only have this left. So I'm going to tie this up. Or close this up because I'm full. I don't need any more food. And I'm going to eat this later for, like, dinner. Right now, well, I won't even say dinner. I'll eat this either late tonight, like, later, like, closer to 8. Or I'll eat this tomorrow for lunch. Depends on how I feel. A lot of times I don't like to eat Chipotle like a second time around. But if I do, I make sure I just close up everything. And since there's no meat in here, I'm really not tripping if it's not as heated. Like I'll heat it up a little bit just so it can heat up my little veggies. But I don't have to heat it up extremely because there's no meat in here. It's just like straight vegetables. Like you would eat a salad cold, right? So it's the same thing, but... You just want to put a little heat to your veggies like your um you want to do that to your like i said veggies your black beans you got a little bit of rice in here i don't always get rice i don't but sometimes i do get the brown rice because that is a good thing to have. so i've already eaten this but anyway I'm going to get some cleaning done, get some things done. I know this mukbang wasn't really talking about much, but I wanted to come out here and talk to you guys just to, hey, what's up, check in, eat, um, but talk while I eat. This video is kind of long anyway, so if you have time to watch it, thanks. Make sure you guys smash the uh, subscribe button. Make sure you like, share, do all of that, and I'm going to be updating you guys on more information about me, just in general, very soon. Um, I know some people are eager to tune more into my life and I don't look at that as a bad thing. You just want to be hip as to what I got going on, which is perfectly okay with me. What's up? No, but I'll let you guys know some other things that are going to be happening in my life and I hope you guys will tune in to those things as well. But in the meantime, follow me on all my social media platforms. I will link them in the description box below. And if you have any more questions, then make sure you guys like, comment, share, subscribe, and comment in the comment section below. Till next time. It's only a little something, boy.